guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. For today's video, we're going to talk about how you can read more books, how to read 100, 200 books in a year. If you've been around my channel for a while or if you just know me in real life, you know that I love to read. One of my favorite things to do, I read all the time. Reading is something I really love to do and I feel like it's something that everyone should do more of. I know a lot of people struggle to read for their own enjoyment. So I have some tips and advice on how you can read more during the year. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and let's get into this. Tip number one is to only read books you enjoy. If you're still in school, you might not be able to follow this rule. Do your school reading, but outside of school, only really read books you enjoy. Sometimes I feel guilty about myself for mostly reading romance books, but then I'm like, hey, reading at all is better than not reading. So I'm going to read what I enjoy, read what makes me happy. If that's romance books, if that's thriller books, if that's self-help books, read whatever you enjoy, whatever books make you happy. Because if you're reading things you don't wanna read, it's not gonna motivate you to read. It's not gonna make you want to read more. Therefore, the next tip is to stop reading books you don't enjoy. Whenever you start reading books you don't enjoy, you just get stuck reading those books and you just feel like it's a drag and you don't want to do it. So really only choose the books that you want to read and stop reading the ones you don't want to read. Yes, it is good to push yourself and challenge yourself to read different kinds of books and read novels you might normally read, but for the most part, don't read books you're not going to enjoy. Tip number three is to start with just 15 or 20 minutes a day. If you want to read more books in a year, you need to start making it a consistent habit. You don't need to read a book a day. You don't need to read for an hour every day. You need to just make it a consistent habit, something you do every day. So start with just 15 minutes a day. Start with just one chapter a day. And once you kind of get into the books that you enjoy and really like them you're going to just kind of continue this path and just like want to read more and more really just start with 15 20 minutes every day and then build your way up maybe some days a week you read for an hour or two but for the most part you just need to read a little bit consistently every day the next tip is to read more than one book at a time this is something i struggled with for a long time and never really did but i realized i can read a lot more this way like i said i mostly read romance books but i also like to read a lot of self-help books too but it takes me longer to get through self-help books than it does take me to get through romance books self-help books are a little bit more intense and they require more thinking so it just takes a little bit longer to get through them so i realized if i read one self-help book and read a romance book, then I can kind of read more. I just read the self-help book when I'm kind of wanting to learn more and have kind of the mental focus to read that kind of book and kind of to dive in and learn more. So then I can just read my romance book when I want to, when I enjoy reading. So it's kind of a balance and it allows me to get through an extra book here and there by reading that extra self-help book on the side. If I only just tried to read that self-help book, it would take me so much longer to get through it and then I wouldn't read anything else. I would only struggle to read that book and kind of push off anything else and then I wouldn't read as much overall. My next tip is to listen to audiobooks. This is something that helps with the reading more than one book at a time, but I like to listen to audiobooks when I go on my walk every day. If you have a commute to work, you can listen to an audiobook then. This helps you get in an extra book every week or so just by listening. I've mostly been listening to self-help books as my audiobooks and this is helpful for me because like I said sometimes it's hard for me to get through self-help books quickly so listening to them helps me get through it a lot quickly and really you don't need to pick up every single point in a self-help book most books you don't need to unless it's like a plot driven story but if you pick a memoir or a biography or a self-help book these are really good as audiobooks because you can kind of get the message here or there if you zone out for a little bit you're still gonna get the main points of the book overall tip number six is to increase your reading speed obviously if you increase your reading speed it's going to allow you to read more it's going to allow you to read more books in a year there are a lot of different ways you can do this I would just Google online like how to increase your reading speed and they give you a lot of good tips and not everything is going to work for you one of the big recommendations is to read with your peripheral vision so you don't actually scan the whole book across you just kind of look at the middle and then move your eyes side to side if that makes sense that's not something i'm good at i like kind of like looking at the words and digesting them it's just whatever works best for you there are a lot of different ways to increase your reading speed so just kind of figure out what works best for you and what's going to allow you to read more those are all my tips for how you can read more books in a year if you want to read 100 books 200 books you can do it i believe in you follow me on goodreads if you kind of want to follow along more with what i'm reading like i said i mostly read romance books but i do read some self-help books and other books mixed in so follow me on goodreads it's the best place that's it for this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments what your favorite book is and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one